What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing you another video today and for today's Rad Movie Review we are going to be talking about a film that I recently caught on Shudder, it's called Necromantic and this is a West German exploitation horror film that came out in 1988. I'm pretty positive I'm not going to be able to show you a lot of the images from this film, I'll try to if I possibly can but like I said this is a pretty wild film but today you're going to hear about my thoughts on it, positives, negatives and Possibly a rating, we'll see, because like this film's kind of hard to rate, but I got a fun fact about this film as well, so stick around for this video. Roll it. So as I said today, we are talking about Necromantic. This is a film starring Beatrice M. and Dactari Lorenz. I'm sorry if I butchered that name, but where main story is we follow a street cleaner, kind of street sweeper guy who works for an organization called the JSA. And what they do is they go out and clean up after like horrible accidents and stuff like that. They clean up, you know, all the guts, the blood and the dead bodies and stuff like that. And this guy has a fascination with taking his work home with him, which is part of the thing. And then it kind of grows into a bigger fascination where he actually brings home a not not a fresh body this isn't a fresh body this is a pretty rotted gutted ugly dead body for uh yes him and his wife played by beatrice m and they kind of have their way with it so it's just it's a film that like i said it sounds wild it's out there but one fun fact i must let you know about this film that i learned from rob from exploitation reviews on a uh, mic from did you see that we had a live stream recently and i learned for on that live stream that this was actually a film that the director, the writer and director made as a kind of protest to the German uh, rating system at that time in the 80s. And so this film, it, it's a film that you, when you watch it, you kind of have to understand that it's, it's the most minimalist approach to a lot of story elements and a lot of character development and all that kind of stuff. It's very, even the filming and cinematography, it's the most minimalist approach to everything, but it's a statement film. And it's one of those films that kind of has like a big uh, kind of aura surrounding it. You know what I mean? The way people talk about it, the way it's talked about in the horror community and the circles that I'm in. And especially me being someone that it's been, I haven't seen Necromantic and I'm a horror fan and I'm 33 years old. So I was so excited when Shudder picked this up. And this is one of those films that I've heard so much about that I kind of built up these expectations and these thoughts in my head. So let's kind of talk about what my feelings are on it. And in terms of positives, one thing I must say is after building up all those expectations and those thoughts for years and years on this film, it met all those expectations. Would I say this is a great film? Is this a fantastic film? No, it's not a fantastic film, but it's one of those films that delivered on the premise that I was expecting to see and the director and writer executed everything that I thought it was gonna be. And that's what I was happy about, that it gave me everything that I pictured the film being. And, you know, some films, they aren't like that. When, when it comes to the horror circle or the horror community, there's a lot of films that gain a reputation. And sometimes when I watch them, um, I don't feel the same way as everybody's talking about. I'm like, what are we talking about? I'm looking at you, Poughkeepsie Tapes. So yeah, there's some films out there that don't they don't hit the mark. They don't live up to the word and what's being talked about them and stuff like that. And this is one of those films that totally lives up to the premise and is a wild film for sure. Another thing I must say is that the graphics, like the, the special effects and the way it's kind of filmed and like I said, it's like kind of very, you know, slow, low budget feel to it. It's got this crazy feel to it where it almost comes across comical at points but the graphics and the gore is still kind of up there where it's like, oh, it makes you kind of cringe. It makes you look like, oh my God, like what the, like you kind of want to go like that a little bit. I'm watching certain scenes. There's a certain scene when, yeah, you know, the wife and the husband are, you know, doing the nasty, you know, with our, you know, our body. So it's like, there's that happening and stuff. And yeah, the husband does certain, some things and I'm like, oh God, like, it just makes you like, and it's the special effects, it's just so raw and realistic filming that you're kind of like, how did they really execute this kind of film? 
other fantastic things. Really, this film is just a risk taker. That's what you love about this film is it takes risks and it's great that there are films out there that exist like that. But as I said, this is a very hard film to very to, to nail down and to rate because you gotta understand that this is a film that was made for a certain purpose by the director and writer. And it's, as like I said, as a protest film, a rebellion type film against the German MPAA at that time, you know, what they were doing and stuff like that and the rating system. So I find, I just like I said, find it fascinating. And like I said, the journey I took with this film was amazing. Like I said, it met my expectations that I wanted, but it didn't have, like I said, it has a weird kind of score too. It's got this weird kind of synth score, but it's also this very kind of soap opery kind of very romantic, melodic type score. So I found that kind of interesting as well. Like I said, one thing I'm gonna say also is actors, like you gotta commit, like the actors and like the writer, like they were all committed to this project. And that's one thing I like too, is like when you find actors or actresses who believe in your purpose and your theme and your story, and they commit to the roles, then it's like, damn, it, it still does come out pretty fantastic. But in terms, like I said, let's talk about kind of mixed and negatives with this film is just, it's, like I said, it's a very minimalist, low budget approach to everything in this film. And in terms of just what's in it, it's like, it's not a film that I can say I would return to again in my time. Like, and I did watch the sequel. There is a second film to this. I did watch the sequel. But man, when you get to the third act in this film and the money shot in this film, like I'm not even lying to you, it's a straight up money shot in this film. Like if you, but yeah, it's wild. It's out there, and like I said, it's a film that it's gonna take you on a journey. And I know it's not gonna be for everybody. This isn't a film that's gonna be for everybody and stuff like that. But it's a film that I'm happy that I took this journey with because I watched it once, and I can say I've seen it. I know what it's about and all that kind of stuff. And like I said, it met all my expectations in terms of the intensity and what I wanted it to be and how much I've heard about it for years and years. You know what I mean? Like I've had this movie pretty much spoiled for me, but it was just sitting down and actually experiencing the whole film, you know, the score, the acting, the music and everything together. It's like I said, the music is kind of hit or miss for me because it makes it feel almost comical. And I feel like this is a film that, you could probably make a premise of this film with a really good deep down story and some better acting and it would actually hit harder and have more of a stronger theme. But like I said, you have to kind of take this film as its face value for what it represents as like, you know, the protest statement that the director wanted to make. But like I said, I've seen other exploitation films and other horror films that are like totally garbage or way off base or awful or boring as fuck. And this isn't one of those films. Like I said, it's not boring. It's definitely a film that's going to gross you out. And I know it's not for everybody. Like I said, once you're talking about, you know, necrophilia type stuff, like, you know what I mean? Even John Waters has this interesting quote on the top of the box, like on the front of the Blu-ray or the, you know, the DVD, if you get it, there's a great quote from John Waters. So it's like, this film's been seen. It's out there and it's just one of those films. Like I said, it's more of a representation of what people can do with cinema and that it has a voice that somebody, you know, being a director or writer and you're able to make a film that you actually have a voice and you're putting it out there for people to see. So I think that's fantastic. More of what this film represents is more fantastic than how it actually is as a film. Because in terms of a rating, if I was to literally rate this film, we're going to go off rating right now based off my feelings on it and stuff like that, it would be like a four out of 10 type film, just because there's really no character development. There's very minimal dialogue. The low budget feel and the cinematography is not really there. And the, the score is kind of like an avant-garde kind of weird score that I don't think fits with the film. So like I said, it's not a good film. This isn't a great film, but it's a film that makes a statement and like I said, I'm happy that I experienced this film. So I'm glad that I got a chance to talk about this film and bring it to you guys on this channel because I know these films, a lot of these films, you might not want to check out some people, but I know there's a lot of horror fans out there that will take the deep dive and watch some extreme horror or watch some exploitation horror. So this is the perfect film, I think, to really dive into. And eventually, like if you guys do like this review and everything, and you like what you hear, we will be talking about the second film pretty soon because I did watch the second film because they both got dropped on Shudder. 
and that was my chance. I was like, I've been waiting to see these. Let's check them out. And I binged both of them. But thanks for sticking around with me all for this rad movie review of Necromantic from 1988. Please let me know down in the comment section if you've seen this film. What are your thoughts on this film? Or if, even if you haven't, what do you think about this film? Do you feel it's amazing that there are directors and writers out there that can make films like this that are uh, statements, that are protests or a representation of their voice uh, in a broader spectrum, I would love to hear from y'all in the comments. And be sure to like and subscribe so you get more videos like this because pretty soon I'm going to be popping out more content. I was actually thinking of doing a poster collection video and going through all the posters hanging around in my house and stuff. And there's even some I got to get frames for, so I'll be showing those off as well. So I think that's a fun little video. I hope you all be excited for that. But most importantly, I want y'all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.